Hi, my name is Vanessa Onoha. I'm a member of the class of 2025, and today I'm taking you on a tour of campus. My bike, of course. To my left, you'll see Hoover Tower, where there's actually an observation deck at the top where you can see one of the best views of campus. We're approaching a roundabout, which there are many of on Stanford's campus, but you have to remember, go through them just like you would if you were driving a car. Stick to the right and yield to the people already in the roundabout. It's easy. Main Quad is so beautiful that I love sitting out here between classes to work, do some work or call my family or even just to sit and enjoy the beautiful campus. Now we're here at Green Library, one of Stanford's largest and most famous libraries. Next, we're headed to Main Quad, which I'm sure you'll recognize as it is Stanford's most iconic location. Main Quad is such a beautiful area. It feels like you're in a postcard when you're here. It's also one of Stanford's most popular areas. Stanford has all these beautiful historic arcades in Main Quad, but it's important to remember that you need to walk your bike through them in order to keep them accessible. The Main Quad is a very picturesque area. It's also a place where we have classes, and each department kind of has a corner in a sense. So earlier we were at the history corner, but we're gonna come up on the math corner, and during the spring you'll see it filled with red and black graduation memorabilia as the graduating class oftentimes takes many celebration and graduation photos here in Main Quad. Next, we're gonna head all the way through Main Quad to the Engineering Quad, right this way. As you exit Main Quad, you immediately enter into the Engineering Quad. It's like Main Quad's more modern cousin, where you'll find some really cool sculptures and lots of interesting STEM classes. When I wanna work outside, I like to put up a blanket and sit in the grass and get some work done here. Now, here we are at Koopa Cafe in the Engineering Quad. This is the Y2E2 Koopa Cafe. Koopa's a very popular spot for students to get a little caffeine fix, especially here in the Engineering Quad. I know, personally, I'll do my CSP sets over in the Huang basement and then come here and get some coffee. On nice days like this, you'll oftentimes see students sitting here in the grass, doing work or just hanging out, having picnics. Now, here we are at the Oval. This is one of my favorite spots on campus because it's a beautiful spot full of so much grass where you can play lots of games like spike ball or you can have a picnic. Here we are at Ariaga Dining Hall. This is Stanford's biggest dining hall. You'll find many undergrads eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner. In the bottom, there's also athlete dining. But in the top, what they're most famous for is their Saffron Mediterranean Kitchen, which has all kinds of Mediterranean specials at dinner. Next up, we're headed to Meyer Green. Now we're here at Meyer Green, which is another beautiful spot on campus, really at the heart of campus. There's lots of grass, so again, students will lay out here on picnic blankets and hang out with friends or do work. We're now approaching the law school, which is actually a favorite study spot for a lot of undergrads. But again, this is a no biking area, so we'll stick to the right. Now, I'm gonna head on into Tresseter and get some lunch. At Tresseter, you'll find all kinds of restaurants. There's a Panda Express, a Subway, a Starbucks, to name a few. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lock up my bike. Because Stanford is such a bike-friendly campus, you will find bar bike parking all over campus. Though it is important to make sure you find an actual spot. Also, get a U-lock rather than just a cable. Makes it a little bit more secure to make sure your bike stays your bike.